Well, um, I've been a Trekkie since I was a kid. The 1960s version of the show, uh, the original series, is actually what really kind of uh, got me interested. Uh, and later on, I, I, you know, I really enjoyed uh, The Next Generation. I found that it, it held on to a lot of the philosophy of the original series. But essentially, one of the things that really appealed to me about Star Trek was the, the deep philosophy that was always kind of, you know, not, not just woven in there, but it was actually the entire basis of the show. And of course, I've been asked the question of why Spock? Um, and, and for me, it's not, it's not just why Spock, but especially since uh, Star Trek has kind of been brought back in terms of uh, the movies that have recently come out in the last few years, the Spock character has definitely uh, changed according to the, the new director's vision. So it's not just why Spock, but why Leonard Nimoy is Spock for me. Um, his character, Leonard Nimoy Spock, is a very stoic character. And um, for me, that character reflects what I see as the most noble parts of myself. Um, and, uh, you know, I remember reading the book a few years ago, uh, I Am Spock by Leonard Nimoy. And he was actually talking about the fact that, you know, th there's been this kind of push and pull with him in terms of, well, he isn't Spock, but he is Spock. And he said, you know, if he could be anybody in the world, he would be Spock. And I think that that's, that's right there, is that Spock to me, um, in a lot of ways, is this ideal. Uh, and it's not that he's not fallible in any way, shape, or form. That's not, not the case. In fact, his fallibility or his reaching is part of what makes him such an interesting character. Uh, but but he, he reaches for this ideal where we reason um, in the face of our emotions. Um, and that really speaks to me as a person as to who I am in this world. So he's the ideal of who I am and who I, I strive to be, even though I miss the mark sometimes and, and you know, not infrequently. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, uh, as a result, this series of paintings, when I'm exploring the character of Spock, I'm actually exploring myself. So that's what this is about. It's, it's a self-exploration and exploration of stoicism and what it is to be a noble human being in the world because that's what I see this ideal as, is, is, is actually nobility. Um, I, uh, you know, I started this series 21 months ago, which is not a long time when I look around and I see just how much work I've created in the last 21 months. But um, two years before I started this series, I had decided I wanted to do a Spock painting. And so I started looking at images of, of Leonard Nimoy's Spock uh, trying to choose an image that I wanted to, to paint from. And uh, two years in, I still hadn't, you know, chosen one. And I looked at my husband and I said, I, I, can't, I can't choose one. I said, there's so many interesting facial expressions, etc., that, you know, and, and, and body language, etc., that he has, that, you know, I find all of these different images and I, and I can't choose one. And I've been looking, actively looking for two years. And my husband looked at me and um, he said, why don't you do a whole bunch of them? And I definitely had that look on my face that was like, I can do that? <laughs> so, you know, hence the Spock series began. So instead of now going into the, it with the idea that this painting, the one that I was doing, had to be it, that, that somehow encapsulated this entire character and my entire feelings about stoicism and nobility and what have you, it became um, definitely kind of a a search for this idea, for this concept and how it played out in different ways. And for me, actually, that, that seems more truthful and more to the point of it, right? But for the most part, you know, every single painting that I do, even though it is about Spock and it's about the, you know, this idea and it, and it kind of um, centers around an image of him, each one of them is a different exploration for me um, in and of itself. That's why I, part of why this, this series keeps going. Um, for me, the, the subject matter may appear to be the same, but every painting is its own exploration. Just like every movie, you know, yeah, they're all movies, right? You can even pick a genre and say they're all, you know, horror movies or they're all action movies, but every one of them is different. And the way you choose to tell the story in them changes and personalities come out in it. Um, so I think as well, each of the paintings allow me to explore my own personality, but in a different way, kind of look at myself differently, you know, incrementally or sometimes big turns. And this definitely kind of harkens 
uh, into a time and a place and a space in my own mind, not just the time, because it exists now for me, but where um, I could explore possibilities. Possibilities um, of, of how I could be, possibilities of, of meaning, possibilities of, as I said, nobility. You know, encouraging us to reach for something uh, that is beyond our moment, but reach for something that is, as again, I come back to that word, more noble, you know, that nostalgia. It's been fascinating for me, not just this process, but also to watch what has uh, unfolded. So many people asked to, to buy the paintings, and I, I really honestly didn't start this, this series or do this series to sell the paintings. Um, but because I got so much joy out of sharing it with others who got joy, it, it kind of struck me eventually that, yeah, okay, I don't want to sell my original paintings, but it's almost, I felt almost like there's a duty that I have to create prints and put that out there so that others can have them, you know, in their space, others can have them where it continued to bring them joy in their own, in their own environment. Um, and it's also ended me uh, in conversation with uh, Danny Nimoy Schwartz who runs Shop LRAP, that's Leonard Nimoy's uh, granddaughter. Um, and she and I are working on collaborating to have the prints uh, at her shop as well as a few other uh, collaborations. Um, if you'd asked me even a month and a half ago if that if I thought that that's where we would be, I would definitely have said no. <laughs> so, so you know, the best journeys are often unplanned, and I'm just actually really thrilled that that so many people have gotten joy out of it, and I continue to get joy out of this. And uh, so, I'm going to continue my series, and I'm going to continue to share it with others.